Hello and welcome to Sobrix. I'm Adam and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the relatively new Lego City Jungle Explorer Truck Set. This is set number 60426. It has 314 pieces and I paid $35 for this set. Uh, I really enjoyed the like water plane set that um, was also in the jungle theme. I really wanted to get the Red Panda like $10 or $11 box but I haven't seen it anywhere near me yet which i'm kind of surprised about and then i did pick up the um lego city jungle poly bag which is the uh baby gorilla encounter it looks something like this i'll be looking at that in the future and then there's also like the big um helicopter base thing i believe um and i'm trying to get all of these jungle explorer sets because I, th I think they're really cool um at the very least i think the plain one I, I really enjoyed and this seems cool too definitely want the red panda definitely want the new tiger in here and there's some nice like throwback references uh in this set as well so very neat and so i decided to get this even though this is potentially something that could go on sale in the future um you know it might end up being I, I might end up feeling that this was a fair value, uh, maybe not, but this is probably a set that would go on sale, I would assume. Um, I think a lot of sets do, uh, just not sure what the timeline is, and I did want to get this one. So in this video, I'm going to open this up, I'm going to put this together, and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it. So while I build, I will speed the video up, and then I'll slow it back down to review this set. So until then, enjoy! Okay, so while we look at the build for this Lego City Jungle Explorer truck set, I just wanted to say thanks for watching and then remind you, if you like the video, click the thumbs up. If you like my other videos, click the subscribe button. That helps me a lot. We're still on the road to 2,000 subscribers, so maybe we can get there by the end of the year, and I really appreciate it. We start out building here with the first bag of pieces. We have the really nice uh, tiger piece that's new. It's actually made up of a couple pieces, but it comes assembled. And then we work on this kind of tiger habitat, this sort of jungle area here, um, which has kind of a cavern. There's a lot of nice rock work in there, as well as some floral elements, and of course a frog. And then we can move on to the Jungle Explorer truck here. So this doesn't use a starter brick or um, a you know starter plate or anything like that. So we start out with a couple of those two by uh, like 16 maybe, or two by 12. I, uh, or 2x14 perhaps um, plates and then we build up on top of that I like the uh, flow of colors here I especially like that it's all like brick built uh, and now we're already on to kind of the last bag of pieces we're going to add a lot of like internal details inside of the vehicle as well as you know some different stuff that will go on the front I had some a little bit of confusion of how I was supposed to put these stickers on before realizing that it was just on a square tile and I could flip it around whenever I wanted um, we kind of build up the front seat area there as well as a little accessory on the back little sub assembly for the roof and then we can add on the wheels here and I spend a little bit of time kind of looking at everything and putting the figures in and everything like that and now on to my review for this set okay so here we have the Lego City Jungle Explorer truck set this is um yeah, really good. I have uh, a lot of thoughts and there's quite a bit of stuff to look at today So, uh, in this video. So we'll get into it. And the first thing we'll look at, uh, the first things, are the minifigures because you do get some. You get three minifigures in this set. So the first one I will show is maybe one of the researchers you know, or a photographer or um, something like that, potentially the driver for the truck. So we have this character little bit of a um, older look to their face nice hair there I like that their shirt is sort of tied in the middle we do have the uh, little necklace nothing on the midsection we do have a little 
uh, printing on the legs for those pockets, nothing on the arms, back of the torso is pretty simple, no alternate face for this character, and there is various accessories that I'll show as well. The next one we have here is also a uh, kind of a researcher, a scientist, could also be a photographer, and this one might also be a like veterinarian or something. So I think they are wearing like gloves here. We can see that's different than their normal skin tone. They do have like a, a stethoscope around there and some other little device. Looking at the face, they have some facial hair, nice hair piece here with a pretty swoop of, of hair. This one does not have an alternate face. It looks like they're wearing kind of a, a shirt and a vest there. Uh, like I said, there may be a, a, a vet or a zoologist or a biologist or, or something that might help with, um, you know, some of the jungle creatures that they encounter. Same uh, legs as the other one. So just kind of that cargo pant looking thing with the... Um, the pockets there and then the last one this is the one that i was maybe most excited about is this character which i think is maybe called an explorer uh i think this is very heavily uh a reference to i think johnny thunder is that correct there was an old sort of i think vaguely indiana jones type character back in the day um that was sort of an adventurer and whatever else i actually think there's the haunted house set from a few years ago had um a reference to this theme as well but maybe not this one is holding a map which is a printed piece so that two by two tile there and as i understand it someone someone left a comment on the jungle water plane set that i had that all the maps do connect together which is very cool so uh this is kind of yeah kind of an indiana jonesy like character they do have some facial hair up there you can see the hair under the hat as well no alternate face because they are wearing this kind of hat here they have a um just you know a button-up shirt with some breast pockets a belt they also have a bandana and maybe uh something else a, a, a strap or something kind of going around the back uh, and across the front nothing on the midsection nothing on the legs nothing on the arms there but that's okay and then we also have the other accessories so one of the first ones you build here is this which is looks like a, a little camera and i believe this is supposed to be a drone so maybe a remote sort of uh controlled flying device that can uh has a camera on it so it can get to areas where uh, either the minifigures can't get to or the truck can't get to or whatever else which is very cool we also have just a smaller camera here again done uh, just with a couple pieces there we have a uh, you know a walkie-talkie or a radio piece there and then we also have this which i'm not sure what this is supposed to be but um, it's like blue translucent with the blue kind of tile with the bar coming up i think it's a, a beverage of some sort perhaps maybe a a just a a bottle of water and then besides the minifigures we do get an animal mold in this set and i think this is new for this so we get this tiger now this is really really cool it all comes in one piece it was just loose in the box um and it's it's really well done so that's nice i don't believe it has any like dual molding or anything in that so just some really nice printed details um so we can see we it's like the orange cat here with all the striping a couple studs on the back the head is really really good we have some pretty detailed printing for you know the fur underneath on the snout on the nose some of the striping there as well as for the eyes which is very cool and the head can move up and down here so you can see that there and then at the uh, front legs those are just stationary um, we can stud the this one down and then the hind legs as well as the tail 
can move their own way so it can't like lay down super easy or anything like that but you can get it to maybe be up on its hind legs you can uh, get it you know studded down maybe if it's just walking down a, a thing or something so you can move the back uh, two legs as well as this here which is um, pretty good to see I, I like this I would have liked if um, you could move maybe all the legs I also would have liked to get more than one of these uh, I think or like a baby one at least I think that would have been really really nice uh, unfortunately there's just the one no baby one no partner mate for this one so that's that one of the other uh, accessories here that popped out is this med kit it's just two pieces the modified plate with the bar and a printed tile there and there's a spot for that to go in the um, jungle explorer truck which i will show off later and um then uh, the next thing or the first thing that you build is actually the landscape which might be this tiger habitat here so it starts out with some plates these rounded plates it does have the bar connection and the clip connection on either side that's a system they are doing for this line i think they are also doing that in um, some of the harry potter wizarding world themes with the forbidden forest stuff so you have these different sections that can clip on to other stuff and I, I believe the you know the sea plane or the water plane for the jungle is also uh, compatible with that which is really really nice and then we uh, build up kind of the base of this to make it look kind of like a rocky surface it's almost like a little bit of a tunnel here or a cave where the tiger might uh, live so we have some nice kind of building around just with different kind of stone pieces or these faceted kind of angled bricks there we do build up a tree next to kind of the cave or the cavern there it's pretty much a flat back except for you have a little bit uh, here which adds extra stability but also might have some more going into it as well then we do have kind of a grassy area uh, a little bit uh, above kind of some of that rock stuff and on there we can see a lot of like these uh, floral pieces here the different leaves with the flower stud we have a couple bone pieces that are clipped here which is maybe from the uh, tiger's meal uh, we build the archway I really like how this kind of stonework goes up it makes it feel pretty organic I think this arch feels a little bit inorganic but that's okay of course we do have the frog up here which they love to include it's a nice color for one of I think it's sort of a lime green uh, which is, is cool and then yeah like I said we kind of build this tree trunk with the roots down here and build it up top with a couple big leaves there there is some studs in here so the um, tiger can you know be studded down or a researcher could be on there there's not a ton of room um, you know it maybe could have used a couple extra studs somewhere to have a little more room to position people but maybe if you connect all the different jungle sort of sections it works out and um, let me show Show this because I did have an issue a little bit with the alligators or the crocodiles or whatever they were with getting them kind of positioned appropriately in their like habitat this one as well is not super easy to get in there it has enough clearance uh, technically so you know it's not too bad but you might have to move the kind of uh, head a little bit but then you can pick it up and it can look really nice like it's emerging kind of from the cage here it does stick out the back a little bit as well because this is for the most part only two studs wide um, and this doesn't add anything to go under the tiger necessarily but there might be a way to stud the front leg down and kind of have the rear leg sort of resting back there not a hundred percent sure but uh, it doesn't look like it goes down that far so um, 
that's mostly for stability but there is space for this to be you know studded on here I don't know if you can't really get it like sideways here unless you have it kind of off which honestly this doesn't look too bad uh, because the way that cats walk this actually seems fine and you can still get the backdrop it obscures a little bit of the sort of um, the sort of perfect kind of roundness of the cave opening there which is is cool and I think this looks pretty good so either having them emerging going back in or having them kind of uh, maybe sort of walking around or surveying their area here is pretty good I don't know if this tree is you know big enough for a tiger to climb the tree I believe tigers do occasionally you know climb and, and other things so maybe that could be up there as well but it's not uh I don't think designed for that necessarily so overall this is a pretty good little landscape piece little jungle area uh, I think it does invite you know expanding on it it's pretty good for a standalone I mean there is a considerable amount of pieces here and and like stuff so that's nice but it is very shallow and is sort of a vignette it is sort of a like just a scene without um, much surrounding it but with imagination I think this really really um, works well for a set of this size so that's pretty good and then the rest of the set is this jungle explorer truck and this is really cool so right off the bat we have the same kind of color schemes uh color scheme rather as the water plane and as well as all of the uh other kind of jungle sets they're also similar to like the arctic explorer thing so as somebody very kindly pointed out to me well or at least they express that in their mind they like to imagine that in some parts of the year they go to certain parts of the world World. other times they go to different parts of the world and so they might be in the uh, Arctic or Antarctic at some point they might be um, you know very far north they might be close to the equator they might be in a rainforest a jungle maybe there'll be a desert thing although I don't know uh, w what they'll do down the line but they may all have like this similar organization there are some stickers in here sticker sheets over here three stickers um, one of them is just this kind of the globe with the thing going around it there and then uh, we also have it over here now I wasn't sure the instructions were a little bit weird to me about putting those on and then I realized like because it's just on a square tile I can rotate it around to whatever orientation it's right for something for some reason this looks a little bit strange to me it's actually not too difficult to be able to switch that around I think my instinct would be to put it like this uh, but then you know in, we have um, you know bottom left top right and over here we have bottom left top right but they don't actually like they're kind of going in opposing ways there now but that's okay this is for the most part a six wide uh, city vehicle but it ends up being a little bit wider so we can see the bottom of it we start with a four wide base doesn't use a starter brick or a chassis piece or anything like that we just use these two by plates here we do attach kind of these axle plates underneath there as well as a couple inverted tiles we build up from that uh, and we immediately kind of lay the groundwork using these kind of single wide hull pieces that are through there uh, we attach some of these like wheel wells or fender areas there for those and then there's uh, some not too difficult building in here there's some uh, studs on the side stuff for example to add these uh, chests these crates these do hold even more stuff so we do have a banana in there I don't know if that's something from Johnny thunder or whatever this is or one of the characters I don't know if tigers eat bananas necessarily and over here we have binoculars uh, I was trying to see if maybe you could fit some of the other accessories in there I was hoping maybe the um, walkie-talkie or the radio could go in it seems like it's a little bit uh, of a tight squeeze and it might not be uh, appropriate to put in there without like bending it or something so I'm not gonna do that I, I, I think there probably is a way to 
organize these things you know I did I was able to get the one smaller camera kind of over in the side there if I popped that out I think I could have you know the uh, the water bottle or whatever this is uh, back there too not a big deal but I always appreciate when there's storage especially when there's storage for like accessories and different stuff like that I do love to have a place to put those we build up the grill again it's got some like studs on the side bricks in here and then we start building up the walls of this a little bit we got some lights on the back we have kind of the uh, tailgate here on the back which we can open Open. there's a good amount of space back there so it's kind of a pickup style but it's almost like an extended pickup here um, again I, I love how the color is blocked and it's all like brick building so these angled tiles here square tile and it kind of all flows diagonally there these sort of orange to the dark blue to the white which is very very cool other side very much the same a couple little differences we have this here which i don't know if that's what that's supposed to be specifically it almost looks like it would be a um a exhaust or like you know a smokestack or something and over here maybe this is a side mirror but it's potentially potential that maybe this is supposed to be something else a couple lights up front the grill as well as the lights around here nice windscreen we have the kind of ladder or the grate up top we also have uh, some lights up there as well big kind of denser wheels which are really nice they spin well and then we have what's going on in here so as i said the back the truck bed has um you know a three by four area there we also have this which is like this arm and a camera here this is a little more built out camera it also has a microphone attached to it and it's on a couple mixel joints a couple ball joints so this can kind of move around and uh, be on the vehicle here and there's there's different ways you can kind of get this positioned to get the right kind of shot here it's not the most friendly just because the limitations of these kind of ball joints you know it can't go um, like side to side too far here not nearly as far as it can go up and down and, and spinning it around is uh, effective but not like always perfect but you know you can get this at different places you can certainly have it looking backwards you can't really get it like too much lower than the vehicle but that's okay we do have this kind of extended arm for a camera there and then if you have this plus you have the drone camera plus you have a handheld camera you can get some pretty good coverage of everything and then um, we have the internals here so i'll pop off the roof it's built as its own little sub assembly as you may have already seen uh, which is really nice we have a couple jumpers back here which are um where that attaches as well as across the windscreen there easy to get out we have the last sticker which is in here for kind of a computer monitor or some sort of device it does have maybe a crocagator there or an allodile uh, here as well as the tiger and, and some different stuff so that is right there we have spots for two minifigures to sit in here one in the driver's seat there's a nice printed compass at the front so they can sit in there then in the back we have where that monitor is as well as some storage for for example the med kit here or whatever which goes behind this kind of clear piece there so it can sit like that and be really uh, easily accessed and I'll kind of show what it might look like with um, the characters in here they fit pretty well they don't go side by side but that's okay and then you know we can get those two in there at the very least and what i really like is having maybe this character being you know over at the uh over at near nearer to the tiger it could be that maybe this is you know it's a reference to an old lego theme it could also be that this is maybe supposed to be the kind of uh uh like the host of say a, a a planet earth type thing where there's a human host not just a voiceover um or like uh the 
I think, you know, the uh, Steve Irwin crocodile hunter stuff where you have an on camera personality that, um, you know, might be dressed a different way than some of the other crew members here. Could also be that they're dressed like Alan Grant from Jurassic Park or or any of those other things. Uh, so that's really cool as well as being a reference to an older theme. But there is room for them to be in the back. You could also sit them down back there. There's no additional room inside here to put the third character, but that's okay. And then in, in terms of storage for all this stuff, I just had it all kind of back here. And it wasn't uh, too bad. You know, you can have the character here at the rear kind of holding the map and stud them down i like to kind of stud them down maybe just with one leg but we can do it with two um, just so it's a little more secure there and we can put in the camera the water bottle thing you could stud down or put in the character's hand we can put the radio in there we can get the drone in there and that feels pretty secure to me i'm not too worried you know unless you're flipping this all over they might come out especially if you you turn it upside down but um, for most like driving around things I think they all are, are perfectly able to rest back there so the fact that they can't all fit in the side crates isn't a huge issue because there is still somewhere to put it and you know you could probably position like the map and this in such a way that like makes it a little harder for those things to fall out not going to be foolproof but it, it might take a, a little bit of doing but there probably is a way uh, but if this is just mostly driving or going through the bush or going through the jungle or something but for the most part on four wheels then uh, that stuff should be fine in the rear and it doesn't even like move around too too much you know it, you can hear it a little bit but it's not that bad and there might be ways to organize it to kind of um, make that even less noticeable so that's kind of everything in this set uh, you get a, a pretty sizable truck here you get the kind of uh, landscape or the habitat or this uh, you know biome type of thing this little cavern and then you get the three minifigures all their accessories uh, so you know a pretty oh and as well as the animal mold there which is very cool as well I will show the extra pieces because you do get some and uh, they're about what you would expect you do get an extra of the bone piece there extra of the printed kind of uh, compass and then all your one by ones your studs your tiles your slopes or cheese wedges flower tile the microphone piece in there so those are all your extra pieces and this set is 314 pieces three minifigures one tiger and I paid $35 for this set so uh, the price per piece right out of the gate not perfect but you know compared to some other lego city sets it's not like crazy uh you know there was like a 40 dollar uh, arctic explorer boat or diving boat set that was relatively recent that you know was um less than 200 pieces and was like in the 40 dollar mark but that was one with a big kind of starter brick or base for the boat that i think does float so you all have your kind of compromises in there uh animal molds new animal molds are expensive to produce and um you know you do get one of those in here it, that is if i am correct in asserting that this is a new mold or a new piece which i think it is uh and you know you get a pretty sizable thing here so this truck on its own might be yeah it's a 10 15 dollar vehicle here maybe even up to uh, up to 20 depending on uh the perspective just because of like the big tires and everything else and then the landscape over here is is uh, you know a sizable thing eight dollars nine dollars maybe even ten dollars there this is 15 and this is 10 that's 25 we have the tiger which as an animal kind of a medium sized animal or verging on the smaller size there um you might uh put this at five dollars plus the three minifigures and everything else which when i look at it kind of all uh 
itemized like that and separated it out, it seems like the value is pretty fair, uh, actually. I think, yeah, I would have loved this to be $30. $30 would have been awesome. You know, it's not a full, like, huge step up from, you know, the 22 or the 23 that the uh, airplane was, the water plane for the jungle set. Um, but if that one was maybe instead of 23, like 20, and then this one was 30, I think that would be like really, really good. That's not a huge difference. This is 35, take $7 off of that uh, for 20%. We get down to $28. $28 for this feels very fair. I would feel like I got a really good deal at um, $28. And then like any... Uh, higher percentage or better discount would be even better. I don't feel terrible about the price I paid. Like I said at the beginning, this is, I anticipate uh, as being a, a set that is uh, likely to go on sale at certain points because I think city theme stuff does do that at various points. Um, I just wasn't super interested in waiting. I did really want to uh, get this here and I uh, really, really enjoyed it. So uh, I'm going to keep looking at these Lego City jungle things. Might go back and look at some of the um, the Arctic explorers or the deep sea exploring and everything like that as well, because, uh, this is really cool. And I like the storyline. It kind of, um, builds and, uh, it is very, very fun. And I, yeah, I think the value is all right here. Actually. Um, it does sort of feel appropriate in 2024. So I really like that and I had a fun building it and fun talking about it. So I like this set. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and give it a like. If you like my other videos, click the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date on all the Lego videos I'll be doing here in the future, including more Lego City, more Lego City Jungle, as well as tons of other Lego sets from all different themes, all different shape, size, price point, piece count, tons of different stuff. So subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming Lego videos. And if you want to just support this channel by giving money to the channel. You could do that here on YouTube with membership supers and thanks. And I have a link in the description that's a buy me a coffee link. I also have a link to the Patreon. All that helps sort of financially uh, prop up the channel. It all goes back into the channel. And uh, I appreciate all the help. It's not needed. I would do this um, if nobody gave any money as I, as I have been. But uh, that kind of stuff does really, really help. And it does make a difference and it is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much. And with all that said, until next time, thanks. Bye.